Heart disease is the number one killer in women, and it is, surpasses all forms of cancer combined. Most heart disease is preventable, so if we could reach these women in their 20s and 30s and 40s and educate them on what to watch for and get treatment started early when it's necessary and find early detection studies for heart disease in the same way we do early detection studies for breast cancer, we're going to save a lot more lives. Stress reduction is very important to maintaining a heart healthy lifestyle. And um, it is something that I counsel many of my patients on, particularly the women. What's important about having a women's heart center is that we have physicians who are passionate about taking care of women. We have physicians that are educated in the differences between cardiovascular disease in men and women. And we also have the benefit of being able to do research in an underserved field. So we'll be able to further our knowledge of women's heart disease in the future and what we can do to prevent heart disease in women and how we can manage women with heart disease. The mission of the Emory Women's Heart Center is really to promote awareness among women that heart disease is the number one killer. So the primary way we do this is through our screening program to help educate individual women on their individual risk and what they can do to modify that risk and then possibly, if needed, get further treatment. The second way we promote awareness is through community events. So we go out and speak to corporations, women's groups, church groups, really anyone who wants to know more about heart disease in women. And we do that all year long, with a lot of focus in February being Heart Month. The third thing we do is try to increase education among physicians who care for women. And so one thing we do is we put on an annual education program to primary care physicians, OBGYNs, family practice, internal medicine, and mid-levels who take care of these patients, as well as cardiologists, to really promote the research and information on how to best care for women and the differences in women with heart disease. And then the final thing we do is promote research among women. If women don't enroll in the research studies, then we're never going to know exactly what's best for them. Unfortunately, many research studies over the past 30 years have only had about 20 percent enrollment in females, and some studies have had none at all. So until we actually do the research on women, we're not going to know the best way to treat women in the future. 120 over 75. Awesome. Good.